Hi! Today I'm going to be talking about some ways you can reduce waste, specifically in the holiday season. This is a time of a lot of shopping and a lot of waste compared to other times of the year. So I wanted to talk about some different ideas I have to be more environmentally friendly during the Christmas season. And the first one is not the most groundbreaking tip, but I started doing this about a year or two ago, and that is skipping wrapping paper. I have had some wrapping paper left over that I used up, but Nowadays, I don't really purchase wrapping paper, and instead, I just use recycled paper that I already own, specifically brown paper bags. I have a lot of those, and I know a lot of people have a lot of those, so there's no reason why you can't use those to wrap presents or use if you have, like, newspapers or magazines, which are kind of wasteful in themselves because it's a lot of paper usage that you could just be reading online, but if you get them like in junk mail, like I sometimes get large books of like coupons that are kind of newspapery, that would be good to use as wrapping paper. I don't think the aesthetic of wrapping presents has to be decreased that much just because you're not using wrapping paper. You can find some decent looking paper bags and reuse them, give them a new life by using them to wrap presents. Also, another very cool idea is to make the wrapping paper part of the gift with fabric, whether like, I think this would make the most sense with a scarf or like maybe some sort of head scarf, like a hair tie type thing, depending on the size of the present, obviously, but you can get some nice fabric and wrap it up that way, and then the person can use the gift as well as the nice fabric that you gave them as a scarf or some other sort of clothing accessory, and that's another way to repurpose rather than just wrapping paper. There's no real use for it before or after the present, it just gets thrown away right away. Next I wanted to talk about Christmas trees, and I do not own a Christmas tree. And pretty much every Christmas I, I got a Christmas tree one year and I bought a small real tree, but aside from that I don't have one, but I know that most people, especially as you grow older, like if you have a house, it's pretty commonplace to get a tree and I know I'm unusual in not having one and Christmas trees are not very good for the environment. Real trees obviously it's just growing a bunch of trees to immediately chop them down and then having to do that every single year to get a new real tree and then fake trees are made of a very bad type of plastic so both ways are pretty bad but on the whole, if you get a fake tree and you just buy one and you have it for the rest of your life, the carbon footprint overall is less damaging than constantly getting new real trees every year. So I would say go for a fake tree and even better, buy a fake tree secondhand. Like check Facebook Marketplace. I just did a quick search in my area and there was tons of people selling their fake Christmas trees nothing was wrong with them so buying secondhand is better than buying a new fake christmas tree so that would be my recommendation for a tree if you're not okay with not having a tree at all you could use something else in your house i've heard of other people like decorating like a standing lamp or like making a christmas tree out of like recycled items if you want to get crafty with it, that's an option too. And for gift giving, I have made a video about gift giving before because I find it very difficult to not only buy gifts for other people, but when it comes to receiving gifts, this is another area where I feel like there is often a lot of waste because how many times have you ever gotten a gift from someone that you just don't 
like the gift and you don't have a use for the gift and it just sits there and you feel awkward about it and it becomes waste. My best solve to this is to be clear about what you would like and I know it sounds less fun but I have a whole list of ideas for gifts for like minimalists and zero waste people but overall I recommend to just ask for specific items and be very clear like if they ask you again repeat the same thing and they're like well what about any other ideas and you're like no no I would really enjoy movie passes or a digital gift card or this type of food I think those are overall good types of gifts to ask for that are not wasteful and hopefully people giving you gifts will listen to your request. I know this time is huge for online shopping, for buying gifts for other people, and just like a lot of sales going on so a lot of people shop for themselves too. And buying in store is less wasteful than buying online so I really recommend that. Buying online, not only is it like the actual packaging waste of how they have to wrap up the item, but also the transportation, whereas if you're already driving somewhere, you can go to the store and get gifts yourself, ask for no bag, you don't need a gift wrap, just buy the item, and you can reduce waste that way. But if you are shopping online, and if you are using uh, the devil's website, Amazon, I really hate Amazon for many ways because it's just not very ethical or environmentally friendly, but I understand that a ton of people use it for buying gifts because it's kind of a one-stop shop. You can fill up your cart with all the gifts you need to buy for the season and place the order rather than going to different stores, although I think you can check a lot off your list by just going to the mall. But if you do purchase online orders for gifts, there is often an option to consolidate your orders into fewer packages rather than getting every single thing shipped individually like one by one. You can combine as much as possible into like one or two boxes. So don't forget about that option, keep a lookout for it so you can choose it just to reduce waste that way. Since you're probably going to be wrapping the items separately anyway, you can try and reduce the number of boxes this season. Also pertaining to holiday shopping, not just holiday, I use this rule all year long, but make a list of every person that you need to buy a gift for and decide beforehand exactly what you're going to get them. And this prevents not only like going overboard on spending, but prevents you from buying like a wasteful gift that you just see and you're like, oh, maybe that. And then you go to a next store and you think, well, maybe that. And you just start buying and buying and you've already gotten the person enough gifts and you're going over the top. Just make a plan and a budget for how much you're going to spend on each of the people you're buying for and stick to it and that prevents you from buying extra stuff. Just I feel like there's the pressure around the holiday season to buy more for gifts for people but if you have a plan of what you're going to get every person it's really nice to like check off each person off the list. The last thing I wanted to talk about is food actually. This is a big time of year for food waste because it's a lot of cooking big dinners at home for like family gatherings and there's often a lot of leftovers which do get eaten I would say sometimes but this is a big time for food waste and my best advice for this is just to take a look at recipe serving sizes. I do this every year for Thanksgiving. I need to drill this into my brain finally that I only need one batch of stuffing. I always make two and I never need two. Just look at the serving sizes and try not to make so much excess because it can be hard to eat a ton of leftovers before they go bad. A little bit of leftovers is fine, of course, and that happens when cooking even not large holiday feasts, but 
try and be mindful of the amount you cook and also mindful of what you make. I, I know there's a lot of emphasis around traditional foods around this time. Like people eat the same foods that they've been eating since they were a kid and since their parents were a kid because it's Christmas dinner and you always have cranberry sauce. Except I don't like cranberry sauce. My partner doesn't like cranberry sauce. I thought this year maybe I should make cranberry sauce because I usually don't. And then I was like, that would be just the epitome of food waste because maybe we'd eat a little bit, maybe someone we'd know would eat some, but if there's a food that is kind of like not liked very much, don't cook it just for the sake of sticking to traditional. I hear this a lot with green bean casserole. It seems like everyone hates it and yet everyone cooks it around the holidays because they feel like, well, they have to because it's Christmas and then it goes to waste because no one likes it. If there is something, some sort of food like that in your family or friend group, just skip it. I promise the dinner will still be amazing and probably better without it. Those are all of my reduce waste, zero waste tips for this holiday season. Hopefully some of these inspired you to make a small habit change, be more eco-friendly, and thanks for watching! What is it you want, Barry?